I don't know why I get so nervous filming in front of you. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Lauren. And I wanted to start off this video with a haul. Like a mini one from Shein. So I got quite a few things. Everything was under $20 per item. So let's start off with this. Okay, it's just a ribbed tank top. It's like a halter. I think this cut is super flattering. Are you looking at everything too? Mm -hmm. Okay. I think this was $4. And it's like really nice material too. Okay, so that. And then, oh, I got, I have these shorts in two other colors. <laughs> you would hate them. Um, I got them in two other colors and I think they were literally $4. And I wanted to get the dark gray color. They're good to sleep in, lounge in, do whatever. They're not super thick but they're also not see-through, so. And they're high-waisted, and they have the adjustable uh, waistband, so. Got those. So next. See, some of these items look different in person. Uh, I got this halter top, tank top. I like this color too. Next, I got... This looks kind of... I don't know how this is gonna fit. Got this little top, crop top. Um, it's ribbed. And I think I also got it... Whoops. But it's not ribbed. So, these would be good for literally anything. It would be good for wearing with sweatpants, shorts, jeans, home, out. This would be, they're versatile. Next. This is thicker than I thought it would be. I got a flannel. I didn't think it'd be this thick material. So this is definitely for the winter. I was gonna try and wear it when it was shorts. It's cute. I don't know how it, how long it is. It's comfortable. And this looks so different online. This, and this is really thin. Be honest, do I look like um, a farmer? So this flannel is kind of long. I got it in the plus size section. This is the only one that I found that was on Shein that was not in the plus size section, but it works. And it's just a little bit long, but it fits really nicely. So I think I'm gonna cut it and then it will give that nice raw hem look to it. So, this was a successful haul because I am keeping all the stuff. So that's good. So we just made um, some yogurt, mango, I cut up a whole mango, and some granola and put it in a bowl. This is Christian's, he just used the regular, but I really like this one. I'm not lactose intolerant or anything, but this brand of coconut milk yogurt, which is, I guess, a yogurt alternative. The unsweetened one, it's dairy-free, it's really good. And this is like one of my favorite granolas, so. Yeah. Nice. Little cheeseburger, lettuce, onion, mayo? <laughs> yes. Christian's going to get us uh, five guys. It's not the healthiest. It's about to start raining outside. Anyways, I posted an Instagram photo sharing. I changed out this earring. 
back to my stud because it, there was a hoop in it, like the hoops that I usually wear from Amazon, which I always link in my Amazon shop. Um, in case you're wondering, they're from Amazon, they're $15. I've had them for a year. I've, they're just now starting to like tarnish, so I'm gonna be ordering more. They're under $15 for like a pack of two. It's only a two pack, but I buy like three of them because I really like wearing them in all of my holes. I got these earrings from Lily Class. This is the Instagram. I got these, super cute. I also got these, these I've had. And then I also got like a chain which can connect to any, here I'll show you. Here's a better look at the name. They came in these like cute little bags. You can like connect it to, sorry. You don't have to have like a piercing and it, the, it has a back on the other side and literally it connects to any earring that you have, like any stud earring or even like hoops that have um, earring backs, but. Yeah, it's like a little chain. It only comes in one of them, so I'd honestly probably wear it on this ear because this one already has, I already have my cartilage pierced on this ear. I was literally just on the FaceTime call with Taylor and Maya for literally an hour. <laughs> now it's a little bit later in the day. It's like 5.40. Um, I'm going to um, another side of town to grab my prescription because I haven't changed pharmacies. So I need to go to my dad's side of town to get my prescription today. Um, I got this weird email from a brand or like a company and um, I have like a separate business emails so that way they like don't get intertwined or mixed it was so weird they were like or she was like I came across your YouTube video um, the how I grew my hair video and she was like I wonder I was wondering if I could use some of those clips for our ad an ad and I was like okay for for what like what's the ad for and she was like, uh, for one of our products. And I was like, did I mention one of your products in my video? Which I doubt because it, I looked at the site. I was like, unless it's a product that um, you're selling. She was like, whenever we promote a YouTube account, they gain around like 5,000 to 25,000 subscribers. Like, can we use like a part of your video or parts of your video for an ad? And I was like, I don't care like about gaining 5,000 or 25,000 subscribers. If you're gonna use a part of my video for an ad, make sure you're actually selling the product that I'm speaking about in my video. Like I'm not just gonna go and say, yeah, sure, whatever, have at it, and like have them false advertise their product with like one of my YouTube videos just to gain subscribers. Like I don't care to gain subscribers that much on YouTube like if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen like I'm not gonna force it and I'm not gonna go have myself be like false advertising for a company like it just didn't make sense and I was like no and my sister's calling me hello what are you busy I'm just driving um, to go get my prescription on actually that side of town all right yeah Perfect. Well, is that a little high? Oh, perfect. This is perfect. You're stacked on a candle holder, a tall wood wick candle, and a Bath and Body Works candle. So, works out. Like, a few weeks ago I made that, what was it? That spritz that was like Topo Chico, frozen, like rosé and like fruit and I had that in that bottle in the fridge but I think it was just I left it open I didn't drink any more of it in like the past few weeks so it was like stale so I dumped it out and I got my favorite this is my favorite wine it's Kim Crawford Sauvignon Blanc it's a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc I've talked about it before 
not too sweet, not too dry. I think it's just like the perfect wine. I don't know how to describe it. All New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs taste amazing and they all taste similar. So it's kind of like my favorite. So I think I'm gonna add ice cubes to it. Just, I feel like it'd be so good with like crushed ice if you could like get the ice pieces in your mouth, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna watch some, it's kind of like dark in here, but that's okay. I'm gonna watch some um, YouTube videos, I think. Hello you guys, it's the next day, it's two o'clock. Christian and I are, ooh, is that a rain cloud? Oh, I was like looking right here and it was so gorgeous outside. And then I looked over to my right and it's a pitch black dark cloud um but it's two o'clock i didn't vlog this morning i kind of just chilled watched youtube videos watched tv made breakfast all that good stuff um but christian and i are about to go to trader joe's we haven't been in a few weeks so i'm really excited to stock up on all of our favorite trader joe's stuff um if i get anything like new or different today i'll definitely show you guys in this part of the vlog but um I have done like Trader Joe's hauls in the past on my channel, so if you are curious about what I get at Trader Joe's, definitely check out those videos. I do um, put it in the title of the video, like Trader Joe's haul or whatnot. So look at those videos. Um, we tend to get the same stuff, really good frozen foods, which makes it easy to make dinner throughout the week, which I love because when you work all day, and then you work out the last thing you want to do is like cook a really complicated meal all the time so trader joe's has really good um dinner stuff for stuff like that so that's what i like um we're meeting taylor and maya there i don't think they've ever been to trader joe's or it's been a while since they've been so i'm excited for them to experience trader joe's because it's amazing but yeah so that's what's going on today i'm excited to go We just got back from Trader Joe's and I wanted to show you some of the different stuff that we got. I don't want to go to Publix to get my lunch stuff, so I have been like eating these salad kits that are pre-made, but I put them on top of like spring mix or some different type of lettuce mixture just to add more greens. And that way these last like a little bit longer. I'm gonna try the cinnamon rolls. We got some different cheeses. We got our favorite blueberry cheese. And I saw something about these mini raviolis. They're dried, but apparently they have cheese in them. So that's interesting. So I'm gonna try this. I'm trying some of their queso, chicken sausages. I really liked the I really liked the jalapeno. So we're trying this roasted garlic one. <laughs> Christian put a whole cheesecake in the cart. I thought he was kidding when he first put it in there, but here we are. We got dried pineapple. Um, we got the gorgonzola gnocchi. That's new. These are so good. They're little, basically like ice cream cones, and they're just like the perfect little treat. Yeah, that's the whole.